Greetings, everyone. Earlier this morning, I got off what I had on my chest. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to keep any ill feelings inside of me. I just like to say it and free myself. Um, I don't hold grudges uh, with anybody. You know, even if they have hurt me, I find a way to release it. And so I have moved on. Now, I want to do this video today as well. And it is a great topic for Spirit Mondays. Perhaps I can extend it then. But it's sort of a warning to people. You know, especially people who have their head under the sand to know that we live in a world where, you know, of po polarity or duality. And the whole idea of God is this, you know, universal thing where different people, based on the culture that they come from, you know, see their guide or their spiritual leaders a particular way. You have to find your way. Now, I'm going to talk about... Uh, our home as that spiritual dwelling and how important it is for us to be cautious about who we let into our home, who we let close to our dwelling. And for example, even when you're renting a property or you're purchasing a property, remember, do not ever move into a place without getting it spiritually cleansed. You have to get rid of certain energies that might dwell in that space before you move in. And even while you're living there, you're cleansing it every so often. But before moving in, it's very important. You could move into a home and you don't know what was happening. You don't know what kind of altars were, were, were erected in the household. You know, all these persons or what spirits these persons were appealing to. So it's very, very, very important that you get the proper tools and things to clean or cleanse your space. Now, I'm doing this because recently I did a video with a Mari. And, you know, you know, bless up yourself, Amari, I got your message. And I wanted to do this because she talked about some other things that I want to really talk about here. It's very important. Now, I had experiences with different landlords and a lot of them were not good experiences. But I'm not the type of person to just lay down and roll over, especially when I see people trying to violate my rights. And, you know, I went to court and responded to this this landlord that I had who wanted to ask me to move out of my home without proper notice. And of course, the day of court, I end up walking away with five thousand dollars. See, lady picked up, uh, picked on the wrong person, climbed up the wrong tree. And sometimes you can't let people know what you know. Sometimes you have to just let them think you're a fool. And so he was very shocked when the court said. You better make sure you go out there and you get this woman what is hers. Now, they tried to give me a check and I said, no, I don't want this. This is not money. It's a, a check. And he was so arrogant because he was saying, listen to how foolish this woman is. She said she won't take the check. It's not money. And the judge said to her, she's absolutely right. That is not payment. It must be certified check or it must be cash. And it has to be paid in full. It's not. And I said to the, the judge, your honor, please tell this person that a check is not money. It is promised to pay. And so, you know, they were very surprised, you know, that, you know, little old me, because they never expect a black woman to know anything. They expect us, you know, to be slow. Anyway, that's not really one of what I want to focus on in this video. I want to talk about what the man tried to do after I won my case. So he couldn't throw me out before proper notice. And um, he had to pay back money that he didn't know he had to pay. And so he was very angry. Well, you know what the gentleman did? He went and came to, to whatever, at his place, whatever. He came to my place and put some food on my windowsill. It came through the door. And as per usual, Spirit said to me, look over your shoulder. I looked over my shoulder to my left and I saw uh, what looked like roti and some stuff mixed in it and Spirit said don't touch it so my husband was home that day and he was outside washing the car I came out to warn him there's something on my window still do not touch it and he said I saw that I was going to come back in to tell you but I was finishing this first 
So uh, it stayed there for days. And one day, um, someone from the post office came because he tried to change the keys to the mailbox without telling me. Well, he didn't try. He did without telling me. So I called the post office and told them that I'm the tenant and I need a copy of those keys. So although I'm not the landlord, legally, he is not allowed to do that. So when the lady came to give me my set of keys, she looked on my window seal. Well, when I opened the door, she was a bit taken back and she said, I knew a black lady lived here because I came here before. And I said, yes, I, I met you before. And she said, oh, when I saw the thing on the ledge, the window sill, she said, I thought this is from our culture. So what is this doing there? So I said, what is it? Because I mean, I saw it. I listened to spirit saying, don't touch it. But I didn't really know exactly what was happening. And she said, oh, that's from my people. Uh, whenever somebody's trying to hurt you, they put that there. She says, what that represents is food left for spirits. So if you touch it, it attaches itself to you so that when the spirit comes, it knows where to find you and attack you and destroy you. And I'm like, just like that. She says, yes, that's what they do in my, in my country. So this is a food left for the gods or the spirits that they're sending for you. And when you touch it, you automatically will then attach yourself to that spirit. And when it comes to your home, it knows you're the one to destroy. Can you imagine this? This is why I get so frustrated with our people. Because we get stuck in the little corner that they put you. And, know that, and, and, and you believe that the whole answers to the vastness of this universe can be kept in one book. And even though the book has secrets, and even though the book is showing you some stuff, the way they translated it to you is, you know, not going to allow you to grow in your power. It's not going to allow you or teach you how to protect yourself from these dark forces. Every household that I ever moved in, in the city that I live, and because it's predominantly of a certain race, every one of those landlords always had little tiny plastic um, cow symbols in the place hidden. When I'm cleaning out and usually go in before I move in to not just sanitize the space, but to clear it and cleanse it using my sage and my incense and all different things that I used to wash my floors and spray the space before I move in. People, I'm telling you, that when it comes to the things of the spirit, it is so complex that you have to find time to get to know and understand these things. So there are things that you're supposed to use to wash your floors. There's some things that you used to use to spray your household. And again, these are stuff, some of these stuff that I'm teaching in my class. But it is important for you to know. So you're living in a space and Nothing is working out for you. You're at the workplace and you're having all kinds of attack from people. People next to you in the booth next to you is sprinkling stuff underneath your, your desk. Individuals giving you food to eat. Stuff people touching your body or touching your clothes. And when they're touching you, they're touching you with certain kind of oils that you'll never know. You won't smell because some of these things are unscented that they touch you with, that they leave under your desk, they leave, you know, in your drawers that you will never notice. Working with dark forces against you and in cases where you're moving to places where people were doing these things, it becomes your inheritance. There are people living above you or beside you, you know, doing things in their space. But we are talking about space here, spiritual space. And so it's nothing for things to move from one room to the next, from one apartment to the next, from one house to the next. But when you're in an apartment, it's worst. When you're in a house, what happens in one room pervades the entire room, pervades the entire house. You have to know these things and you have to always be cleansing your space. So many people don't know that when you see people smudging 
and stuff, you mock them or you make fun of them. Sometimes just smudging your aura is something that can cleanse the way, clear your space, open and invite positive energy to you. There are things you can do that wherever you go, it's almost you heard in the scripture. Let me just say this before I forget. It says, there's a prayer in there. And it says, broaden my territory. What do you think that means? Open my pathway, clear my way so that I'm going for this job or I'm going for this thing. And, you know, I will have favor in the eyes of the individuals that I'm going to for my interview. I will have favor in the eyes of the persons that I'm doing business with. Now, again, I will post this video uh, um, after I upload this one because I, I don't know where to find it now. And if I do, I've, I'll put it at the end of this video. If I find it before I upload, I'll put it at the end. So when you go into establishments, you know, and I'm not going to say what kinds of establishment, you see certain things, people burning their incense, you see, you know, clear sign of people feeding spirits. And you go in there and you conduct business and you don't realize this is to invite you in that space and to keep you coming back. So we can't, you know, continue to be stupid and act like we don't know these things exist. And so that's why I would say to Amari, when, do not let anybody in your space without you following them. If they come in there 10 times for the day, you follow them and you follow them with your camera. Don't leave people to come in your house to look at anything. Even if you're moving, you don't let anyone enter in your space without following them. It doesn't matter who they are, your friends, your whatever. No one can come in my house and go anywhere in my space without me, without me being right behind you. Because people are weird and people will come to your home and when they leave your space... They leave you with demons in that space. Yeah, so the gentleman, the landlord, because he lost, he was very bitter. And, you know, he wanted to do harm to me. And let me tell you, we could feel it. We could feel the energy. We could feel there is, you know, something upsetting the space. It was very clear. And so, you know, some of you will remember me showing that thing on my window. So, you know, this is, I'm not making these stories up. I showed it to some folks some time back. And I had to go, you know, and I pour my lemon on it. And I use my incense and, you know, it might have weakened it. But either way, if I had touched it. So, sometimes people, you touch things without knowing. And you're carrying this curse upon you and you're not even aware of it. This is why you have to be very, very, very careful. So had I touched this thing, I would have been carrying this curse without even knowing what it is if I survived. Because he was big mad. And sometimes these individuals, when they want to keep you in their place or keep you coming back to their business, they are doing things and you can't understand, I don't even like this thing, but I keep going back to it. I don't, you know, I'm not crazy about this person, but I can't get rid of them because they bind you or they bound you. Okay, people? And you just have to learn how to free yourself. Again, when you move into your household, it's important before you move in to cleanse that space. And if you're having disagreements with people, that is when you need to raise your vibration. You need to up your ante. You need to protect yourself. On Spirit Day, I will show you some things that you can use to protect on yourself. Yourself. If you want me to continue here on Spirit Day, just say so in the comment section. Stay blessed.